Joe Rowe. Let's talk about absorption costing income statement format. <laughs> Which, what, what is it you're going to tell? I would, uh, I would like you to tell me what it is first. Operating income. Operating income. Very good. Very good. That's very good. Armando, what's revenue? 810000 dollars Cost of goods sold. Megan. Where's Megan? How's Megan doing? If you wanted to be really ambitious, you could give me both numbers that go in the cost of goods sold. She didn't like that opportunity. Are you asking me or telling me? Please. Which two? <laughs> but you just said it as a question. Because imagine, imagine, so you asked me what my name was, and I answered, Dr. Fessler? <laughs> Does that sound like I've answered your question? If you ask me what my name is and I say, Dr. Fessler? And what makes it sound like a question? The inflection at the end, which you did. Please, okay. please, please, the please. The answer is, Dr. Fessler, $520,000 and $60,000. Absolutely correct. Absolutely correct. And do you hear the difference in your voice? Yes. Absolutely correct. Awesome. <laughs> You've been teaching all day. I'm a sales Oh, so this is just for fun? No, this is to go further and further. Ah, ah. So that's 600000 so that's $210,000 left, right? Did I do that math correctly? Yes, you did. Okay. I used to be able to do this really good when I took the CPA exam. You know, when I took the CPA, I'm so old, when I took the CPA exam, no calculators were allowed. There was a time when calculators are now allowed, but when I took it, no calculators were allowed. So that means by process of elimination, 67,500, 50,000 equals $92,500. Now notice one of the things I did, and, and I don't notice, I don't think students do notice it quite as easily. What, uh, if we talk about here, let's look here. What's on top? Product costs are above period costs, right? When I do this, I put product costs above period costs within the variable costing area. I put product costs above period costs within the fixed cost area. And I did the same thing over here. Here on this income statement, variable costs are above fixed costs. Here I organize it as variable costs above fixed costs, and I'll get you in just a second. Variable costs above fixed costs. No, it is not just a coincidence that they're both the same answer. At this point in time, all we know, I mean, just think of them as two different ways to kind of slice the pie for now. We'll learn more much later in the semester, but for now. Now, shh, don't pack up quite yet. Because I want to say, I would, it's, I'm not going to collect it as homework. I will not collect it as homework. If, but what I would really suggest you do, if you turn the page, I would really, I would encourage you to do so much stereos on your own for practice between now and next class period. Separate, and I won't collect it, but separate, uh, just as practice, I would encourage it. Where can the solutions be found? On Blackboard. On Blackboard. Was that your question? Yes. 